Executive Producer, William Horber. Hi, William. Hey, Stacy. Thanks for having us. Thanks for being here. Series star and Golden Globe winner, Anya Taylor-Joy. Hi. Hi. Marielle Heller. Hi. Love Marielle. Moses Ingram. Hi. Thomas Brody Sangster. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Harry Melling. Hi. Here he is. And Bill Camp. Hi, Bill. <laughs> Bill and his new beard, which we're all loving, by the way. Thank you for being here. It's everybody. an old beard. It's not new. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's new to all it's your an fans. old man beard. <laughs> not a new well, beard. I wanted to congratulate you firstly on your Golden Globes wins and what an amazing night. I'm sure a very strange virtual celebration for everyone, but very deserved. In such a strange time for this show to have taken hold in the most zeitgeist of zeitgeist ways as a global phenomenon, how did that feel last fall? And maybe I'll start with Anya. That first weekend, and as you started to see the social media sort of traction that the show was getting, when did you realize that this was officially a phenomenon? I think it took me a solid two months, really. Two months, really? Well, yeah, because I was filming in Northern Ireland and I spent all my days barefoot in minus three degree weather on the side of a mountain. <laughs> so it's very difficult for that to <laughs> work out in your brain. Um, but yeah, two months after that, I got to LA and I, I took a walk and I just saw this giant poster and I was like, oh my God, wow. <laughs> That's a real thing. Um, but it, it does feel really special because I think there is something to be said about the story of an outsider who is trying to connect being the thing that connects people when they're unable to connect with each other. Um, so I, I do think that that is pretty special. Very much so. And definitely a lot of themes that are have resonated this year with a lot of people. And, and uh, William, I'd love to start with you. I know this series had a long journey from Walter's book, which came out in the 80s. And I was fascinated to learn that he also wrote The Hustler and Color of Money. What a disparate <laughs> sort of range and what an incredible range for a novelist. Tell me the biggest challenges you faced in bringing this story to life for the screen. I know at one point you considered a feature. What led you down the path to make it in a limited series, which I think we all agree was sort of the best format for telling this story? Well, there's a delicious irony that a story that took 30 years to get made somehow came into the world at the perfect time. Uh, it, you know, this market didn't exist when this journey started. There was no Netflix, there was no Hulu, there weren't streaming services. It was really uh, birds and thorn birds, really. As sort yeah, of <laughs> I mean, there was 